Hope you're doing good. Micah back with another video. Back here to talk about iPad OS 18 and my top 15 wish list items. And for this, we're going to remove this folio case here because we're going to get into it in this video. So, if you guys like videos like this, such as software updates and feature breakdowns, thought pieces on tech in general, smartphone and tablet reviews and accessories, Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, the notification bell, so that way you never miss my video, so that way you and I can sit back to actually what's cracking. Now let's get into the video. And the first thing we are going to talk about is the home screen redesign or home pages redesign. And that's starting with widgets. Now some of these widgets, of course, look nice and they kind of look better in tablet form. But we need to have more tablet-oriented widgets that also include more interactivity when you bring interactive widgets but then they're not really being interactive then it's kind of like well what's the point right so thankfully in cases like this you know i can click on one of these and it'll take me straight there to that specific article right the iphone new journal is worse than i thought i disagree but i'm always interested to hear what people think about that so let me go ahead and bookmark that but the more interactive widgets and more tablet based widgets i think also maybe giving it more of a mac look instead of an ipad look especially for the pro model because you're putting desktop mac chips in here and why not actually start evolving this into a mac maybe even mac os right that was actually my last feature i was going to talk about but i could really combine that into point number two in terms of mac that will also increase multitasking right for the tablet and split view will actually have uh, you know more kind of control as it were as opposed to the way it is now in tablet mode now stage manager could actually really be that early stage of mac os for the ipads or for the ipad pros in particular if stage manager be stage manager became the default setup so instead of a tablet setup it would be windows setup like stage manager mine's on it always stays on so let's just say for sake of argument i click on settings this is what stage manager looks like this should be the go-to for the ipad pros in particular but Nonetheless, bringing maybe more of a Mac-like feel and just improving multitasking for iPads in general is a great first step in improving the iPad experience with iPad OS 18. And I think what else would go a very long way is fixing the Files app, right? Now, for me, I've kind of gotten used to the Files Explorer app on here, but I think that Finder app is probably an even better idea for the iPad because it adds much better organization for files in this case whenever you download something on an apple device it all pretty much jumps into recent and it's kind of really i mean it's not that it's not on you to organize your files anyway but there's a level of already kind of folder based breakdowns and directories like on an android file explorer app but on apple it just kind of just throw everything in one place and then you just kind of have to go search for it so as you see here I've created I me mean, tons of different folders so that way I kind of know where I want to put all my activities that take place on here. And then same with my iCloud drive, anything that needs to be on iCloud, I have folder breakdowns for those as well that I can then just move that stuff to. So you can turn Files Explorer into a more native Files Explorer app, app by coming in here and actually doing your own self-organization. But I think having Finder will definitely have much better use cases and a starting point for people to jump into and organize their files. I do agree there for iPad OS 18. Point number two is Control Center. Now, I think Control Center looks pretty good. It just feels like this is literally just a ripoff from the iPhone. So for the tablet, why not increase the size of these modular features or settings blocks if you were within the control center and extend them all the way down the page or maybe extend them out a little bit more too so that way you know you're using both hands or a mouse right if it's docked to a keyboard or something like that or you're you know track padding it's a lot easier to kind of access everything i like that that they can be in one area but increasing the size making it more of a tablet instead of just a larger iphone i think will go a long way with control center and i think turning these two bars the media volume and the or the volume rocker the volume slider and the brightness slider flipping them to horizontal so that way they're laid on top of each other i think will kind of add a nice level of touch refreshness to this as well i think that's a 
we need to change that aspect of the of the tablets in terms of control center notifications i think is a good idea to also adjust for the ipads um just by you know introducing a new look to them because it's a tablet it's already kind of centered and you don't have to worry about it even with schedule summary and then even going in portrait mode like this you can see and tell that there really isn't you know much to really have to do just add a new look and feel to the ipads by adjusting certain looks and make them feel more like a tablet maybe increase those notification sizes right next thing is this side panel they could actually completely tweak this and make this some type of suggested app slash widgets page where you get larger blocks that covers the entire screen of interactivity so instead of this is sliver over here that again makes it just feel like a ripoff from the iphone extend this across the entire page give us something you know more cool more more screen real estate affected with this side page otherwise there's literally no use for it because you can have all those widgets out here now so i would say get rid of that side page or just completely revolutionize it <laughs> upgrade it for ipad use the next wish list item is stage manager in general as again i said bringing up settings i think making this a little bit more useful you know i think there's still a couple bugs in here in terms of resizing windows now here you know i could do that that's not a problem you know doing this gets rid of everything i didn't even i just said oh interesting so i can't extend it that way or that way. now it's settings that's why but see again every app should be able to re be resized appropriately not just certain apps and that's where i have a problem here now if i jump back over here to this here can i see it now i can bump that away if i didn't want to i can bump it down i can fully see so again being consistent staying consistent with multitasking in terms of the window uses and all that we need that for the ipads because it will add much more customization when it comes to window resizing and a different level of workflows that you can create within stage manager i think that will go a long way when it comes to stage manager and better mouse support i use the mx master 3 for my ipads uh, like I did with my Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. I love that mouse and it does have multiple use cases when I'm using like DaVinci or scrolling on pages, but the additional buttons that I have on the mouse do not you uh, work unless and I jump into accessibility and turn on a specific feature, which then kind of eliminates being able to use the iPad in a weird way. It's actually counterintuitive to actually use the features of the mouse. So I would like to see if not individual feature use of the mx series from logitech on the ipads just bring better mouse support being able to recognize that the mouse has additional buttons and functionality or that's on logitech to develop an app for the ipad now i'm could be speaking out of ignorance maybe there is already but bring in an app for the ipad so that way the mouse can be used so you can use the back button and the forward button for specific uses the the thumb button to you know bring up your recent apps or something like that like better mouse support in general i think will be much appreciated including potentially having an actual mouse or an arrow as opposed to the little circle dot not mad at it but why not give us the option to have that as well another wish list item is redesigning the settings in general i think it's definitely a due for an upgrade to make this look better to use screenless real estate more appropriately in here right uh centering the font maybe even moving it out even more maybe bigger cards here or moving this a little bit more over and having you know just taking up more space essentially within the space you're a lot look 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 at all this gap space here and here like eliminate that make it more useful and maybe that also means crunching down the amount of settings we have maybe we get two layers of settings within the settings uh window right so in this case this is the general tab maybe general tab has a stack there and a stack there of settings that could be used why not make those adjustments i think that's really smart that would be a smart idea to use up this space and eliminate settings altogether. and although the action button is not here on the ipads as of now nor will they be there i don't i don't believe for the m3 ipad line <laughs> lineup but bring that format of the action button layout to the settings adding more polish and i won't say futurism but 
it will really bring a new fresh look to the settings i think that would be a great idea i like the action button settings page bring that to the settings in general another wish list item keyboard now as you see the keyboard is a little bit more customization uh, no wrong word it's a little more feature packed than the iphone keyboard because you can swipe down to get something as opposed to having to click on this to reach it so that's really nice i think what they need to do is add swiping you can't swipe uh that's unfortunate i think that their chips their machine learning their ai is even smart now but even more so will be that much more smarter with ios and ipad os 18 with the additional features of ai and machine learning that they're bringing to their devices to distinguish the difference between a swipe down i wish there was a swipe up oh, i guess there is huh i guess oh no if i swipe up that's how you select that oh instead of just swiping down automatically see i'm just i'm learning something new now so i would say bring bring additional swiping where you can just swipe bring that to the keyboards on the ipads something that was missing from ipad os 17.2 was the journal app there is no journal app for the ipad as of right now that should change with ipad os 18. we need a journal app for the biggest i mean it's a pad it's 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 a pad that people use to typically write stuff on notepads right so you got an ipad how do you not have a journal app for the ipad we need that whether or not it's to use the apple pencil and write your thoughts out because that would be nice and maybe adding like a notebook style line paper style journal entry option so that way you can actually write that would be kind of unique and, and uh, unique from that perspective for the ipads but bring that to this that way you can use your keyboard to type it out since you got to type it out with your fingers anyway on the iphone allow that option to be used on the ipad for keyboard use for on-screen keyboard use for apple pencil use how do you not have the journal app on the ipad it just doesn't make any sense not to have the journal app for the ipod uh, for the ipad we need that here and the other thing that we also need here on the ipad is a calculator app now mine i downloaded i think i paid like three bucks or four bucks to eliminate the ads it looks okay right it it tries to mimic what the calculator app looks like and i changed the setting the background and whatnot but actually having a native apple calculator that's a little bit bigger and maybe houses additional calculators right for those who might be taking trigonometry and calculus having more scientific calculators as an option as well and having this big screen like how do you, like you're winning apple if you bring that to the ipads we need that calculator app the next wish list item is more slash better optimized desktop apps and of course as a more or less professional i use <laughs> davinci resolve on my ipad i know there's individuals that uses photoshop there are several kind of wannabe i mean even lightroom for crying out loud there are several kind of like wannabe professional apps that have been that, that want to be because they've been scaled down for the ipad but for a, a device that has the macbook chips how do you not have apps ready to use that kind of power i mean i get it it's a you know a thinner frame and in, in as opposed to a, a, a an actual macbook so heat dissipation may be an issue however considering how much improved davinci has been over time since its inception on the ipad i can confidently say that the heat thing won't be really be as much of an issue i think also maybe thickening the ipad up a little bit especially considering you want it to be a little bit more macbook pro light right and with the magic keyboard adding that additional bulk you might as well go ahead and bulk this up a little bit so that way it can efficiently use that power for these desktop apps so i think that's definitely something that needs to come to ipad os 18 for the ipads specifically the ipad pro another wish list item live settings icon i think that would be cool and fun to have here on the ipads as it kind of moves in real time i think that would be a nice little touch of flair for the ipads another wish list item bring the percentage so uh you know uh the percentage to be within the battery icon like the iphones how do you how did you not do that for the ipads apple it's like there's, there's certain things they could easily just do 
And it's like they forgot or wouldn't even think. It. It's like they forget about the iPad when it comes to iPad OS. It's like it just drops just because iOS drops. We need more thought to be put into iPad OS 18. And I think one of the things that could come, it could be sooner, it could be later, as in iPad OS, or it could come within iPad OS 17 point something or other, is with the new iPads going OLED, right? standby mode could be brought to the ipads and now we have an even more efficient use case for standby mode on the ipad pro now granted these are bigger screens i think having that display mode on an ipad mini size would would be much better and so please bring oled to that but standby mode could come between what ipad os 17.4 and ipad os 18 so that feature could come sooner rather than later but I would definitely love to see that here on the iPads to be able to have kind of like a screensaver mode when it's in landscape mode. And hopefully it doesn't have to be hooked up to a charger too, right? That unnecessary feature. Please, please allow that feature to be used more often than not. And one of the things that hasn't been as much of a problem on the iPad as it has been with the iPhones is just squash more bugs and bring less bugs. And I think they've done a good job of squashing bugs and bringing less bugs continue that trend with the iPads. We we like using these things. A lot of people do kind of depend on these. So for these to have a lot of bugs it would just be a huge disservice to the iPads. And we know Apple needs to improve their sales and improve people's want of these. So less bugs, better features, more features, more thought put into what they want to actually use the iPad for or want us to use the iPad for. And really we're kind of telling Apple what we want. It's just whether or not they'll do it. And like if you see in the media, nobody's really got, trying to go watch movies because they've just not been that good. iPad sales are down. Granted, they didn't drop no new ones in 2023, but they're down because there's really no real use case. And they're not willing to listen to their consumers as to what they want from the iPad experience. Hopefully that changes with iPad OS 18. So let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about iPad OS 18. What are some features you want to see brought or changed? comment section is open for discussion but again as always if you guys haven't already make sure to like the like button subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so that way you never miss my video so that way you and i can see what's cracking jermaine mike is signing out until the next video wait for